What's up beauties, Admin Shalee here, and I'm about to refresh my hair using a steamer. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as comment and let me know if you've ever tried this method and how it's worked for you. I haven't used a steamer to steam my hair in a while. I came back to this method and I love it. Sorry about that. <laughs> we not camera ready by no means. So I'm using three products today, a leave-in conditioner, a very thick butter. It's very, very thick. It's actually a DIY butter. I can link that as well. So you guys can check out how I make my butters. And I'm using a Shine and Jam. So um, I know Shine and Jam, it's probably not supposed to be used in this way. I've used it with my braids in the past and they be looking cute, but I said, you know, let me just try and see if I like it. And you know, so here we go. We gonna see. So with the steamer going, I first apply my leave-in conditioner. I've already applied some from when I washed my hair, what, three days ago? But I still like to add a little bit more, just to, you know, rejuge these little curls of mine. So I apply my leave-in conditioner with the steam directly on my hair and I just work that in. Next, I apply my butter. What I've found works for me is I literally put the butter on my hand and then I hold my hand in front of the steam so the butter starts to melt. And I'm so glad I started doing it this way because it makes application so much easier. Like before I be putting the butter on my hair and it's so thick because there's cocoa butter in here, there's mango butter, there's all these thick, 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 thick butters that sometimes gliding it on wet hair does not work. It gets like real real tedious to do so melting it down just a little bit and then applying it to the hair oh my god game changer Ooh, i'm so glad i did that and yeah i work the butter in and i go in and i detangle with my felicia leatherwood brush and make sure my hair is nice and smooth there's no tangles and then i add the shine and jam When I'm adding the Shine and Jam, I prefer to actually turn off the steam because, I don't know, the texture of the Shine and Jam changed with the steam be while it's being applied. Like it became a little bit diluted, almost gel-like in texture, but too watery for my taste. I really wanted that thickness, that, that greasy feel of the jam. I know a lot of people are like, what the hell, bro? Yes, I like I like that on my hair, especially for the winter. Not in the summertime, but in the wintertime, I need that because this Canada dry air, it, it <laughs> child, let me tell you, it will dry your hair out. So I do my utmost best to find products that are really gonna lock in moisture. And I found that when I was applying the Shine and Jam with the steam on, it just got a little bit too diluted for my taste. So I would just turn off the steam, pour the jam, turn it back on. It's kind of annoying to have to do that, but I did it and it worked. And yeah, so I just continued to do this over and over and over and over again. And then I just twisted to my heart's content. That's my sister peeking in on me. I had my headphones on last, so I didn't hear her when she was coming in. When she was, she was just peeking in, making sure I'm still alive in here. And this is how I wrap my hair at night. Sometimes I do just pull on a bonnet, but most times I try to wrap it down so it stays smooth. And I love this scarf. I've had it for a while now. So it's been a couple days. It's been about, I forgot this smoke detector was doing its thing again. It's been about 10 days ish since I did my hair and I've been wearing this hat. <laughs> it's actually lined on the inside and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's pretty cheap, you know, but it gets the job done. I've been wearing wigs, honey. I've been out here like just covering her up. I do go to the gym and I'm in the gym for maybe two hours. Now my hair is still very, very, very shiny. It's still very moisturized. Like it's dry, but it's not dry, dry. So I'm just gonna take some of my oil hair. This, mm, this is some regular oil. Get it all up on my hands. Make it very oily. I like to just put it on both the front and the back of my hands. And I'm gonna use that to take my twist down. What does she want to do? Ooh, yeah, my hair looks shiny already. I like it. I saw me like it. 
as I'm taking my twists out, I'm noticing they're very much clumped together, but they're very soft. The texture just feels so good. The only thing is they're a little bit greasy. I did put a lot of butter on, but I also did put a lot of shine and jam on in certain places. So I don't know if it's the butter or the jam that's really making it greasy. Either way, it looks really, really good. My hair is very, very soft to the touch. It feels super hydrated. I like how it looks and I like how it feels. I wish it wasn't as greasy as it is, but I mean, if I have to compromise grease for this, then maybe I don't know, because I get a lot of frizz in the middle of, and the crown of my head. I don't even know how to tame her yet. I'm still learning about her. I'm still learning how she works. But that's all for this video. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Try it out. I don't know if you want to try it with jam, but try out the steamer. The steamer was the prize of this video. It was the girl. She was the one that was shining. The steamer was shining. I am going to be doing that all winter, maybe even all summer coming up. Anyways, beauties, thank you for watching. That's all for this video. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.